Hey everybody, day 43, we're nearly there. So today I wanted to talk to you about a post that I'd put on my page, on my own page, maybe about a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, the, the quote on the picture I posted was, um, look out for those who look out for you and the rest can go and fuck off, right? Now, as much as I agree with that, there's an issue that sometimes comes with that. And the issue is that, unfortunately, some of us don't realise that not everybody has to offer what we have to offer. And we expect other people to do exactly for us what we've done for them. So maybe one of your friends was going through a hard time and you went over and you cleaned their house and you cooked their dinner and you supported them through that tough time. And they got better and everything was great. And then you started to feel down and you, were, you weren't doing very well or you were ill. And they never showed up. Where, where were they to clean your house? Where were they to cook your dinner? Where were they? All right. The, the problem is, is that not everybody can offer what you have to offer. All the gifts and talents and skills that we all have are individual to ourselves. And the time and energy that we have spare to give to other people also varies between people because... Some people have very busy lives and, and some don't. So when I say, or when I posted that picture saying, look out for those who look out for you and the rest can go fuck themselves. What I meant was people who you are giving to and supporting and loving and being there for, make sure that they're being there for you. But it doesn't necessarily mean that if you cook them dinner one day, they have to cook you on the next. They can't offer you what you have to offer. Only you can offer what you have to offer. But you have to make sure that there's balance. Because nobody likes to be in a relationship with anybody when it's not 50-50. And it doesn't have to be 50-50 all the time. It can be 80-20, 70-40. But it always balances back out. And in that sense, it means that, you know, when I'm in trouble or if I'm going through something, I might have a friend that will say, come over, I'll make you a cup of coffee, I have an hour, we'll chat it out. And when they're in trouble, I might say, well, look, I haven't um, got an awful lot of time, but I will pop over later and I'll cook your dinner and I'll do your dishes and all for you so that you can go and chill out. Now, that's balance. We didn't do the exact same for each other. And that person's not going to say to me, well, I, I made you coffee and I gave you an hour. And I'm going to say, well, I cooked you a dinner and... It can, it can cause a lot of frustration in relationships. The point that I wanted to bring it up today is because you need to make a list of the people in your life. It's a hard list to make. It's not an easy thing to do. But you need to make a list of people in your life and say, okay, is there balance in this relationship? Is there give and take? Considering where that person is and where I am, do we make time for each other? Is this person offering me any love and support and encouragement? And sometimes that's all anybody has. Somebody, sometimes people are so busy, they don't have time. But they could still give you a quick text message or a little uh, messenger saying, I know today's a hard day. Keep your chin up. I love you. You can get through this. But at least, it's, at least they're thinking of you and they're giving something towards the relationship. Unfortunately, what you might find on that list is that there's somebody there who is take, 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 take. And these tend to be the people who you have to start saying no to. So these are the people that you need to go, oh, do you know what? I need to stop feeding 90% of my energy into this relationship when they're given like 2%. You know what I mean? They're take, take, take. And then when you, when you need anything in return or they don't even prioritize a bit of time for you and they're just, they're not giving anything towards it. So that means you're nourishing the relationship, but they're not. They're feeding out of it. You're nourishing it. And it's not a two-way street. So that's the message for today. Think of all the people in your life. Consider who is given to the relationship as much as you are. Don't beat people up if they can't offer you what you have offered them. Only you can offer what you have to offer. But make sure that they are at least offering something back to the relationship that they're capable of offering. And if there is somebody who is feeding, feeding, feeding and you're giving, 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 it's time to start changing that relationship, saying no a little bit more and spending time with people who are willing to find balance in the relationship. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.